Hello everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Thank you for being here today. Hope that you're doing great wherever you are. Um, it's a beautiful sunny spring day and the sun is shining in. And I just felt inspired to do a video for you on some makeup products that I've discovered um, over the last month. Um, I usually do a little haul from the United States uh, for to get products that I can't get um, here in Switzerland. So I've got a few of those, but I've also got a couple of things that I've just discovered through my recent adventures on affordable makeup from uh, countries around the world. And I just want to share them with you. I've got a, a concealer. I've got, um, yes, a concealer. <laughs> I know I, I've always said I don't bother with them, but I found something interesting. Um, I've got some lipsticks. I've got uh, some really cool travel-sized palettes and also um, an eyeshadow palette, or in fact two, from ColourPop, um, which I have fallen in love with. They're so affordable, they're so fun, and um, I've really been enjoying them. Now, uh, let, um, and also I've got something that... Um, it's not really a fail, but it's kind of like, I don't think this is going to work for me. And I'll start with that one because um, it's it's uh, from a company that I love. It's e.l.f. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Um, they call it the Camo uh, Powder Foundation. This product is like, you can't get it. It's like gold dust. Um, but but for some reason, I mean, everybody in the world seems to love it except for me. And I don't know why. Um, well, there's two reasons. One is the color. The color range that I had an option to purchase was very, very limited. And I chose what I thought would be perfect. It's the, um, oh, just a second. I want to make sure I give you the right one. I'll put it in the section below, but it's 210N. 210, I usually get 20 or, two, you know, that when I'm buying other foundations and N is neutral. So I thought this would be fine. But when I got it, um, and it comes, by the way, in a very nice little package, it's got a mirror and it's got a little sponge that you can use. And um, yeah, it's, it's nice. Uh, it's, it, the packaging is beautiful. But when I put this on, and I'm going to just use the sponge, I've actually used it. Um, here's the color. And, and the sponge, by the way, fits in the back. Nice design, perfect. But this is 210N, and when I put it on, this is the color. It is, um, I can't really, I guess that doesn't show it too well, but when I put it on my skin, it's yellow. It's a really yellow color. And when I put it on my face, um, it, it was just so drying. And can you see how I just made that sort of, you know, blended it a little bit so you can see. It's, my skin is cool. You can see the cool tone, which is neutral. Maybe I should have got a cool tone, but um, it wasn't available. But there, and it was so dry on my face that um, it, it went into all the creases. And so even though this particular product has been recommended for older skin, dry skin, it didn't work for me. And I, I use um, like uh, my facial serum, that Growing Younger Gracefully face, facial serum, which is super hydrating. I used my Emberlees um, uh, foundation or uh, moisturizer, and it still was really, really drying. So has anybody else had any experience with this e.l.f. Um, is powder foundation? It may work for you, and I and I don't know, but it's a, I mean, in terms of, I think it was around $13, so it wasn't super, super cheap. I mean, e.l.f. is like, you know, three or four, uh, dollar eyeshadow pans. But um, anyway, that was the first thing. Um, the, the, the foundation, however, that did work for me is from Essence. I have not heard anybody talking about this. I'm serious. It's called Fresh and Fit. It was $4 or a little under that. Vitamin complex with niacinamide and it's got hyaluronic acid in it as well. Lasts up to 12 hours. It's beautiful. And I'll show you briefly, just quickly on my other hand here. It's got a nice pump. I mean, it's honestly, it's really beautifully done. When I bought this at the shop, I was, you know, I always go to the Essence counter to have a look and see what's available. And I was like, oh, I haven't seen that one. It's called Fit, a Fresh and Fit. And it's a it's a serum foundation, but it's, you know, it's got niacinamide and it's got, um, now when I put that on, it looks a little light. But I found that this is the case with serum foundations, that you put it on and within like a second or two, it adjusts to your skin, skin um, tone. And that's what I have on today. It's really, can you see how smooth that is? I mean, you can just see what that's done to my, to the skin. I love it. I really, truly love it. It's funny. I bought it and then I thought, oh, I, I'll just try it, you know, and, and it's got 25. Is it, um, I don't, don't know actually if it has any SPF, but this, the shade I've got is uh, honey, fresh honey. I love it. 
I'll absolutely love it. And again, it's affordable, it's Essence, which is for me always a very reliable brand, and it doesn't dry my skin. So I really love that. In terms of my eyeshadow palettes, okay, let me do the shadow, eyeshadow palettes. Um, this one is, as it has been uh, a, a bestseller at Co uh, ColourPop for a long time. It's called That's Taupe. And I've, I've actually really gotten into um, browns and taupe color eyeshadows. I'm not wearing it today. Um, I'm wearing actually a, a, a palette from uh, Hindash, which is uh, his uh, his new Monochromance uh, palette, which I love. But uh, it's a beautiful matte palette. And in a way, that's what, it, what drew me to this taupe one, because it is, it's got some shimmers. And, um, you know, you can see the, the beautiful shimmers. But it's also got enough mattes. Um, I don't know how many mattes. Let's see, one, two... There's five mattes, I think, and, and four shimmers. I may be wrong on that, but you get the idea. It's a really cool palette. You can see the colors. And I love I love it. I love this particular color right here. It's one of my favorites. It's hard to see it on, um, on my, but you can see it's like a beautiful taupey color. I, I'm actually finding that color is appearing in lots of palettes that I'm, I'm purchasing. It's a brownie, shimmery taupe. I love it. So that's, that's taupe. Highly recommend this one. It's about, I think about $10, maybe $8, but it's it's ColourPop and uh, it's, uh, you know, it's lovely. The other one I got from ColourPop was called um, uh, By the Rose, By the Rosé. By the Rosé, it's in the right place so you can see it here, there. It's got a lovely package and it's got this kind of embossed um, uh, words on it to describe. It's lovely, it's a really nice palette. And um, I'll show you this one. They don't have mirrors, by the way, these ones. I've opened it. Um, they just got like their, you know, beautiful, but its packaging is gorgeous. And I honestly, for this type of palette, would prefer there not to be a mirror and just, I can just be, ooh, it's shining there in the sunlight. Can you see? But again, it's got that same kind of combination of mattes and um, shadows, and it's got my favorite. This one, I think is the, is this the one here? I think this is the pink, which I have on my, um, Zoeva palette that I'm, it's running low <laughs> because I use it so much and I'll put that on my, can you see this lovely pink? It's it's a really pretty pink and it's kind of frosty. I, I actually could have used that with this particular blend, but anyway, so that's the other one. It's called By the Rosé. That's, uh, now that's taupe. Those are the two that I would recommend. It's upside down. Okay, so those are my color pops. Now, in terms of the concealer, let's do the concealer because this is one that, um yeah, it's it's kind of a, Interesting option for people that have given up on concealer and just want something under their eyes that's going to soften the wrinkles and be um, and, and give brightening to the eyes and um, and, just, and just have your eyes smoothed uh, the under eyes smoothed out. I'm I'm never anymore looking for a concealer that's going to hide my wrinkles or hide my dark circles. It's just not going to happen. I'm 73 years old and most of the women in our community over 60, it's just, you know, it's not that I'm not saying that that's an age challenge whatever, but it's just, you know, we are evolving as we as we get older and have to come to peace with, you know, the age spots and the, <laughs> the things going on. So anyway, this particular um concealer is by a company called a Araza, A-R-A-Z-A, -A -A, Araza. Now, I had never heard of Araza, but I did actually want to experiment by searching for concealers that had coconut oil in them or coconut. Now, if you don't, don't like coconut oil or coconut products, then this is not for you because that's what is the base of this particular um, concealer. When you open it up, it's got, the, it's very hard packed. Make sure I've got a finger that's not got um, eyeshadow on it. Um, so it's, kind of hard packed and when you, you know, can you see it? It's, like it's not soft, like you could, it doesn't smash, smish in, swoosh in. Just grab a little bit on your on your finger. I use this sort of the softest finger and just put it under your eye. Now I'm going to just use a teeny bit here. This is kind of an experiment as we're, as we're, as I'm going because I don't know what's gonna happen uh, because I've, I've got makeup on underneath. Okay, so this, All right, now, can you see the difference? I can see the difference. This, I mean, this eye definitely has got a dark, little bit darker shadow under it, but this one, I, I just think it, it's, it's softened. It, I mean, it didn't erase anything, and I'm not even trying to erase anything, but I'll put some on the other side, and we'll see if it, um, how it works. But this company is nice. I, I actually emailed them because um, I had to pay a significant amount of money to get this product sent to me. 
The product was about 36, I think. And then I had to pay 46 to get it shipped because I use a shipping company in the States. And so this cost me a lot to get. <laughs> but um, so I spoke to them and told them about 60 and Me and what we were doing and how this might be a really nice product for older eyes. Okay, so that, let me stop. Okay. I mean, it's not like, wow, they've disappeared, but can you see the softness uh, around the eyes? I, I, I really love this product and I bring it up a little bit sort of to the side of the eye too. Anyway, I'm not saying it's magic. I'm not saying I, you know, recommend everybody go out and buy it, but it's definitely something that you might want to consider. And if you're in the States and don't have to pay extra exorbitant shipping, it might be worth experimenting or share, buy half with a friend <laughs> because it's really expensive for a concealer. But they have given me a discount code for me. That's not an affiliate link or anything. I don't get anything from it, but uh, it's just if you want to purchase this or try it out, it's just Margaret. So when you place the order, just type in Margaret and um, that will let you get you discount. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyway, Amar, uh, um, Araza, A-R-A-Z-A. -A. It's actually got, they've only got a few products. They've got a foundation, they've got this, um, they've got some blushes, I think, or cream products, but um, this was really what appealed to me. So, concealer, maybe. Um, okay, I have fallen in love totally <laughs> with this product. This is a lip liner, and it's from Essence, and it, co oh, and it costs $3, and it's really, really great. Okay, now, um, Essence has a lot of lip liners. They have a lot of products. Be sure that you look for this one. It's got like a little um, shaped top. Can you see? And it's called Essence Stay 8-Hour Lip Liner. Very important that you look for that uh, because you will find lots and lots of Essence lip liners. This one is a roll-up. I'm wearing it today with my lipstick. It is smooth. It is long-lasting. It's honestly for a $3 lip liner. I'm just going to put it on my hand there. Okay, can you see that? This one is called Be Curious and it is by far the most popular. It's um, been sold out every time. I, I, I saw Jen Phelps, another blogger, talk about this eyeliner or this lip liner, lip liner. And um, I went out immediately and bought it. I, I, I really trust Jen's um, recommendations. Her skin is like mine and she's, she's just an amazing blogger. But anyway, I ran out and got this. Then when I went back to get another one, everything was still there except for Be Curious. But this is it. I'm going to leave it on in a minute. And I'm, at the end, I'll rub it and you'll see how long lasting this is. It is better than, in my opinion, than my Charlotte Tilbury. It's better than any other Kikos. And, and ones I really do love. That's the uh, lip liner. Staying with lips. Now, you may all know about this particular line. I'm sort of late to the show with this, but this is um, a Milani lipstick. I've got two of them. Packaging is gorgeous. But they're actually called, I need, I need my um, magnifying glass here to just check something because um, it's called... There's a, a name for this line. It's Milani. Um, is it something? I'll put I'll put it in the details below. You will find these lipsticks everywhere. And this one is um, Crave 140. This peachy colored one is called Crave, and the number is 140. They're a stylo, which I absolutely love. I don't like those bullet, so it comes up like this. I use this quite a bit already. So that's the one, um, the, the pink, the, the peachy orange color. This um, pink one was out of stock for so long, but I managed to get it. I think it's called lingerie. Yeah, it's lingerie and it's 130. That's the one I've got on today. And I really honestly love this lipstick. It lasts a long time. It's very long lasting. I'll put these on my hand so you can see the two colors. But I guess what I like about them most is that they're long lasting like a matte, but they're creamy and they're not creamy like so slippy that, that they're like a gloss. So that's lingerie and it's definitely a cool pink, which is what I'm wearing today. But this is the cooler, or the um, warmer. This is such beautiful lipsticks. Um, <laughs> I, I shouldn't get so excited about lipstick, should I? But there you go. Can you see? It's really pretty. They're just beautiful. And I think they're around eight dollars each maybe ten but I, the packaging alone won me over it's got this kind of crystal feel to it but it's really lovely those are the milani milani by the way I've, I've got other like um i forget the other names of them now but i've got a lot of milani lipsticks because i do love them and i think this they're they do that really well they do lipstick really well okay the final thing i want to share with you is a really cool little set of travel um palettes when I did my um, drugstore products from around the world, I actually um, discovered in France uh, a line called Vivienne Sabot. Vivienne Sabot is in um, the UK, 
and they have some really good offers like right now they're doing one that's like buy three products and pay for two or something two and get one free and um so i went online and i looked now i had purchased for the um uh for the affordable products from uh fans um video this particular one here i'm gonna try to get it open um, that's one thing that's a little tricky they're quite small there this is the palette that i got from them um, and used in my france video really really beautiful it's got a lovely white it's got a, a creamy color it's got a beautiful dark brown and these colors this is an awesome brownie color it's really cute and they're about ten dollars but the thing is they're so incredibly small i mean they're literally let me show you compared to the okay so there's the <laughs> that's the a palette and this is the this is the little mini one this is how thick it is this is how thin this is it's just tiny and I, you know I don't know I just have this thing I think it's probably because I moved so much when I was young that I always felt like I needed to have a little bag of of a very uh, you know sort of quick to, to grab um products to walk up the door with I don't know I just love I love petite minis and so I, the next one I bought um that's the first one this is called and I love the packaging look at this little polka dots are all around it's so French it's really sweet this is a blush palette and you can see there's kind of a kind of a, a, a muted pink and then a, like a bright pink you and I mix them together I haven't got them on today but this is this is really cool and again it's uh, ten dollars and it's called Versailles it's a it's a, a blush palette called Versailles I'll put all the details below so you can can take a look this one is kind of cool it's called um Gloire d'Amour uh, love love glow I guess glow d'Amour and as I said I've only used this one once can I get the open yeah this has got beautiful highlights. And this one, um, at first I thought this would be the one I would use. But then I thought, oh, it's so bright. I mean, it really is a super bright glow. But this one um, I thought would be too brown, but it's actually quite nice. It's a little bit softer. So I like that one. And um, again, under, under $10, beautiful little palette and then the final thing I purchased was another eyeshadow um, and I actually do have these in my bag I'm, I'm carrying them around with me this is a different um, palette it's the same palette series but it's called this one's called um, uh, Palace Epo um, mm, hold on a minute I have to read in French the um, Plus Vendôme the other one's called uh, Montmartre but this is a different uh, eyeshadow palette I'll turn it around this way but it's just a, a total neutral palette, palette. Same same shade range uh, from very light to, to dark. And these are all muted nude colors. I really, really like this little palette. And I played with it yesterday and wore it. And it's just, it's just so, um, what's the word? You can just go out with it anywhere. What I've got on today is a little bit pinky and a little bit vibrant, but this is gorgeous. So those were the four little palettes that I bought from, well, three that I bought uh, from Vivian Sabo. And I just think they're really, really pretty. And uh, if you're looking for something for travel or for just having your purse, you know, you've got a one blush and one eyeshadow and you're set. And it would take up no space and no weight. That is it for my my products. Um, I wanted just to um, do this rubbing the lip liner because, okay, I'm just going to show you that I am actually rubbing it. Quite hard, actually. <laughs> okay. And it's still there. I'm amazed this lip liner it's it's such a cool thing if you're going to have one thing that lasts like a really long time it's your lip liner right i mean your lipstick can rub off and you can just top it up but that's cool and these lipsticks are spectacular so um what kind of treasures have you found this month I mean, this, I'm, I'm recording this now in March, but it's, um, you know, it, it could be any month of the year. What have you discovered that's new and exciting and wonderful? I hope that you uh, enjoyed this little uh, dip into my uh, into my holes from the United States and from my drugstore and that you uh, are inspired to, to, you know, to use makeup for what it's intended to just enhance your beauty and make you feel on the outside like you feel on the inside just your to glow with that energy and passion that that is every woman over 60 um is is looking for just let me tell me that you um you know what you love what products you've discovered so we can all share with you and uh let me know if there's any other brands or things you want me to look at i don't uh, have a pr relationship with anyone so i'm kind of buying all this stuff myself so go easy on the recommendations but no seriously i'll try anything I'll, I'll certainly work with the vendors if there's something you really really want to see but um but yeah check out um you know all these things the araza concealer i think is the one that was the cha the game changer here for me but I also like that essence uh, um, foundation called fresh and fit and the palettes and the lipstick and the lip liner 
<laughs> I wouldn't be showing them to you if I hadn't uh, really enjoyed them and wanted to share. So take really good care, everybody. Have a fabulous day wherever you are. Sending you lots and lots of love. Bye-bye for now.